Concept art is used by a development team to test and establish the look and feel of a game before actual construction begins. Even in an established universe like Star Wars, everything starts with concept art, weapons, locales, and characters. In designing the world of Republic Commando, concept artist Greg Knight took an interesting angle. He imagined that if the movies were seen from the lofty perspective of the Jedi, then what might the same universe look like as seen through the battle-hardened eyes of a soldier? The result is a darker and grittier interpretation of some familiar Star Wars elements. At the center of the Republic Commando gameplay experience is the Commando soldier himself. To create this elite warrior, aspects of the original Star Wars design were combined with elements drawn from other inspirations, including Roman gladiators, Navy SEALs, and ninjas. Late in the development cycle, Star Wars creator George Lucas suggested that the commandos wear color-coded armor to differentiate one from the other, and to capitalize on the visual metaphors he was exploring for Episode 3. Color, tone, a sense of space and realism. These are the features the concept artist sought to capture while illustrating the virtual sets of Republic Commando. The game originally centered around one single day of the war, set entirely on Geonosis. But soon, more environments were added, including the planet of Kashyyyk from the upcoming Revenge of the Sith. Each weapon was created to reflect the personality of the faction that wields it. The Republic Commando rifle is efficient, adaptable, and absolutely deadly. The Geonosian beam weapon sucks the blood of its host and converts it into a fiery napalm spray. And the Trandoshan weapons were imagined as brutal, but badly engineered, with details like a built-in fire extinguisher to cope with the inevitable malfunctions. Finally, Republic Commando complements its arsenal with turrets and vehicles. Hundreds of sketches and paintings must be whittled down to a handful of iconic images. These final concepts serve as the foundation for prototyping and are fleshed out in full three-dimensional detail, breathing life into the characters, creatures, and environments of Republic Commando. soundtrack for Star Wars Republic Commando immerses the player into the world of the galaxy's most elite special operative team. Foley is a critical component of this audio. This art form, mastered by the feature film industry, has been used by the team at LucasArts to capture organic sounds and audible nuances for the game. Foley provides a level of immersion that you don't get with regular hard effects. It gives you a level of detail that even if you don't register it, subconsciously it makes you feel like you're there. You don't always think about footsteps, for example. No one ever says, wow, those were great sounding footsteps in, in that game. Great, good job. You know, it's more about, it's more about just sort of emotionally reinforcing what, what it is that you're seeing and feeling. 
Foley artist Jana Vance has created sound effects for feature films like Star Wars, Minority Report, Saving Private Ryan, and Pitch Black. We come to, to Jana and Foley artists for their expertise and say, I need something that sort of sounds like this, and I start using a lot of adjectives and, and um, sometimes we end up making sort of noises or talking in very sort of abstract terms about sound. There's an animation that's not... As he's talking, I'm kind of thinking, well, what do I have? And we have so many different things. And then, you know, is it old? Is it new? Is it high tech? Is it going to be squeaky? And then you pretty much have to go to the, your boxes and pull some things out. And then what we say is, um, you know, what is the mic like? Sometimes when you get it in front of the microphone, it sounds a little bit different than just in the room with your ear. The Foley process is part scavenger hunt, part trial and error, oftentimes using everyday items in unexpected ways. For Star Wars, since it's fantasy, the range is really pretty unlimited. What creates those sounds oftentimes is completely disassociated from what it is that you're seeing. This place gives me the creeps. For the Trandoshans, David said, you know, he wants them to be heavy and organic and kind of lizardy, but maybe monsterish. So I ended up using some pineapple. A pineapple actually split in half for that, which gave us the texture and gave us the density and gave us the weight and gave us some of the wetness. And then the little baby insect little monsters. We used uh, some cabbage with some oyster shells, actually, to kind of give it this crackly, um, organic, kind of rubbery, insecty sound. So that was fun. Though the sources are sometimes unusual, Foley adds that last layer of reality to the Star Wars Republic Commando soundtrack. It's sort of that aha moment when you plug in the Foley and all of a sudden the game comes to life. Audiences know actor Timuera Morrison from his tough portrayal of Jango Fett in Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. Now they can play as him, as the hard as nails squad leader, Delta 38. Take offensive formation. We are like the SAS or the special forces or the elite marines, if you like, in space. I play this character Delta 38, which is uh, the closest thing you can get to my Django Fett character in Attack of the Clones. But we're an elite force, you see. So the player can actually get to play through me. I'm the first player. And of course, we've got, I've got some boys with me, three other guys, all dressed up with an array of missiles and weapons. It looks for a very, very exciting game. Timuera Morrison infuses Delta 38 with his signature personality and quirky energy. Scorch. I need a big hole right here. The other good thing too about this game is we're adding a little, there's just a little a bit of humor in there as well, you know, with some of his, some of his one-liners. I wish I'd stop doing that. So I've got a 13-year-old and to be quite honest, uh, this is in, uh, maybe another game that he'll uh, want to latch onto or maybe it'll be me going, get off that game and do some homework. Let's rearrange some architecture, Delta. Scorch, prime charge. Can I have some cover here? Just get us inside without killing the squad, okay, Scorch? Roger that, 38. The charge is set and ready to detonate. It's all yours, boss. Star Wars Republic Commando takes players behind enemy lines as the leader of an elite squad of highly trained commando soldiers. To gain insider's perspective on this type of combat experience, the animation team brought in special ops instructor Joe Bachoco, a veteran with over 30 years of military experience. Republic Commando has tried to really focus in on the military aspect of Star Wars and get that sense of realism in the game. We really wanted these clone commandos to feel like an elite squad and get them to feel like they're a lethal weapon in the game. 
as animators, we don't get to feel like soldiers. Um, having Joe come in really helped us get into that mindset. I start with something very, very basic. I start with safety rules, four safety rules. I go into how to grip a weapon safely, how to draw it, a five-point draw, how to move with a handgun or a long gun. I try and make it as close as reality as I possibly can. We took a team of, of four and uh, we went through breaching a door, whether it be a single door or a double door, going in single file, filing into the room. It's very, very important to go in at once as one unit, making sure their weapons are carried in a functional way, and making sure that everyone knows their job, knows their strengths and weaknesses, it's very, very dangerous because once you go into a room, you're going into the room because there are adversaries on the other side that are willing to kill you. And this is why I take this kind of training. Even though it's not live fire training, I take it very, very seriously. While walking through the exercises with Joe, uh, you really get a sense of what an actual soldier feels when uh, they're walking through environments, unknown, dangerous environments. You really get a sense of how uh, how vulnerable you are and how much you have to depend on your squad mates. The team then took this information and training into the digital realm, infusing the commandos with military precision and professionalism. First man in is going to They need to think like I think and put themselves in my mindset. Take it very, very seriously. Think of them being fired upon, getting hit, getting hurt, and getting themselves killed. Once you put yourselves in that kind of frame of mind, you will do everything that you can correctly. That's the big takeaway that I got from this. And we really try to get that into the game, really try to get the, the commandos to look like they got each other's back and they're, they're really there to, to get that job done and to follow each other up on it. 